I am Tony. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you guys what I packed in my makeup bag. And I have a very big makeup bag <laughs> to say the least. And I'm not kidding you when I say that everything on my table, except for my palettes, fit into my makeup bag. But I'll show you my palettes depending on how long this takes. So let's just get started with um, setting powders. I bought my Fenty Beauty Butter Powder. This stuff is amazing. I really like it, but it's not as good as this stuff. I just found the Huda Beauty Peach Pie Powder and I am in love. So I need to get a full size of this. I went to a Sephora and the, um, People there were very mean to me, so I just said forget it and left. I would have probably spent another $150, but they were being rude to me, so I bounced. Okay, next up, I have this Tarte, Tarte Guard 30. It has uh, 30 SPF, but I, um, I opened this and then I refilled it with Super Goop stuff that's actually 40 SPF so this isn't as old as it is in the package the package was old but the powder is not the powder's fresh um I just wanted to have something that was like um a little more helpful as far as SPF goes rather than just the spray I was using um I grabbed this one uh wet eyeliner by Trasluce or Trasluce, whatever. Um, I love this color. Whenever I do blue looks, this makes it pop. If I can't make it pop on my own, I will use this. And then I put these little palettes in my makeup bag. This is the Envy palette from Hard Candy. I got this from Walmart. This one is the Dope palette which I got from Walmart these are actually nice little palettes to stack in a bag and take with you if you don't have a lot of room I brought the Natasha Denona this is the mini sunset palette I always get the names wrong on these so I gotta check this is the mini retro I'll tell you that much I know that this is the mini um what is it called it's not the millennium it's the metropolis the mini metropolis palette and i also have the mini gold so i'm gonna stack all this stuff in the bag i can't see in the bag though so i don't know where i'm putting everything but that's okay all right so now, um, let's just go to highlighters because that's what's closest to me. I brought this um, Maracucha Glucy Juicy Glow uh, from Tarte. You take it and you just click it up, which I'm not going to click it too far because you can't unclick it. And this is basically a wet highlighter or a liquid highlighter. Um, you put it on your skin and it sticks and anything on top of it sticks to it. So you got to be kind of careful, but it is a really beautiful highlight. I brought cookie because I always have like crazy highlights and, um, this is not a crazy highlight. It's beautiful and bright, but it's not crazy. Um, here's my crazy highlights. This is my On Top of the Mountains and Beneath the Stars from Sugar Drizzle. I absolutely love this palette, but I haven't been using it as much as I used my other one. And then I got a little thing of, like, shiny flakies in here. I have no idea where they came from. But they're beautiful. Like, really beautiful. See that like green, blue, purple shift? They're absolutely stunning. And they were in my makeup bag. And I actually used them the one day and put them on my eyes. It was beautiful. Um, I get yelled at every day because I don't film my looks because lately they've been 
really, really good. So let me get everything that's left on the left side of me. Okay, I bought a white base and a black base and my form of these that I like the most is the KVD Super Brow and this one's in whiteout and this one's in graphite and once you get these puppies on they do not want to come back off. That's kind of why I like them so much because they will last forever. Um, I have this Touchland Power Mist. It's basically a hand sanitizer um, that I got from Sephora. This was 10 bucks, which seems expensive, but um, the little ones that you get from, hold on, let me grab one. The little ones that you get from Bath and Body Works are, $7.95 or $1.95. I can't tell, but I guess either way, it's probably better to have the other ones from um, Bath and Body Works, but this is so convenient. I really actually do like it a lot. Um, this is the only primer I brought because I'm absolutely in love with it. This is the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smoothing Blur Drops. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Like, you put it on and you can seriously feel your skin becoming mattified. I don't know if mattified is a word or not, but <laughs> that's what it does. Um, I brought this Ace Beauté Seal It setting spray and it's full just because my Milani peach make it easy setting spray is like almost gone and I did run out of two products on this trip so um I will put them in my next uh empties which will be coming up soon so I do have this just in case I run out of the other one I have some eye bases um I don't know why I brought two of the one it's probably because this one's almost gone this is the Pero Primero primer from Alamar Cosmetics and then this one is quite a bit more full so that's done and then I have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer I'm not as big on this as I once was but I wanted to bring something else just in case I had like a low key eye look that didn't need, it needed a primer, but it didn't need anything crazy. And this is the Jackie and Lauren glitter glue that I have. This is the craziest glitter glue I have ever had. If you put this on your eyes and you put something over it, it will be there that night. It will be there the next day and it'll probably be there the next day if you don't take it off. It's literally crazy. And if you hear anybody next to me, my room is right beside the pool and there are people in the pool. So just mentioning that. I have this, it's from, let's see, Fit, can I read it? Fit Codes, Fit Colors. It's a, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell in this light, but it is a multi-chrome. It goes from purple to blue. I got this from Timu. It was fairly cheap and it is really beautiful. So there's that. These are just the eyeliners that I brought. I have my Fenty Beauty, what is this one called? The Fly Liner. Um, I don't know why I needed four black eyeliners, but this is my favorite one that I need to throw away. This is the Wet n Wild Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner from the Snoopy Collection. Yes, I know, I need to throw it away, but I love it. This is from Estate. It's just a black liner. It doesn't have a name or anything. And then this one is from Hank and Henry. It's Blickety Black. That's what they called it. So let's go on to my, um, bronzers. I brought my NARS Laguna, of course. 
and then I got this one from a friend it is from pink lips and it looks like this and I am playing with this I haven't fully used it yet but I'm playing around with it so that I can see if I like it or not um next up we'll do cheeks because I brought a few blushes um this one is from Milani this is in peach peach of me 210 this is a baked highlighter it is so freaking beautiful and if I have a day where I want to glow orange, which those days actually do come, I use that. This is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow. Let me see. It opens here. I save this for this one half because the other half was all broken and stuff. And I actually do use this. So it's beautiful. Um, I do get used out of that. I have my Laura Geller um, big brush and highlight in Tropic Hues. And look at this puppy. Like, it's supposed to be domed, but it's lower than the container itself. I have used that and used it and used it and used it and kept using it because it's, it's getting there. <laughs> I think I'm going to pan that one day. This is the Eco Fabulous blush does it have a color um let's see i don't know if it has a color i can't really it's hard to read to begin with but anyway let me open it up and show you guys real quick maybe there's a name on the inside eco fabulous it doesn't really say a name but if you guys have this, you would know this is a really strange product. Like, but I love the color of the blush. It's just beautiful. I have this really dirty packaging for Ariza Beauty. And this is a blush in the color South Beach. This is absolutely beautiful on me. Definitely. I don't know what else I was going to say because I was like on. But this is from Aesthetica. This is the Starlight Highlighter. I usually use this as a highlighter and don't know why I didn't put this with them. Instead of my blush. And then I have my Juicy Cheeks palette from Blend Bunny. This looks like this. Hi guys. I can see you a little bit. Um... But yeah, this looks like this. And if you can see me, I apologize. I look like crap today. Um, this gives me pretty much any color I want. And if I don't have it, I can kind of mix it between what I do have and what I need. Now, here's the crazy one. Here are my lipsticks. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing. Um, I never know what I'm getting myself into. And I never know what I'm going to be doing. Whether I'm going to be eating or what so i try to plan ahead with my lipstick this is from give beauty this is in original formula or original recipe it's like a matte red it's in original recipe i got this uh, melted matte from Too faced this is in cool girl I love this color. This is the same color as um, Sugar Cookie from the Christmas ones. This is from CoverGirl. This is the Outlast Ultimate uh, in 155 New York and Forever. This is getting a little old, but it is one of the most beautiful reds in my collection. So I wanted to bring it. This is the Melted Matte in Cinnamon Bear. It's probably a little over two years old, so I do need to get rid of it, but whatever. Um, this is the Dripping in Diamonds, and it doesn't have a name, but it's a multi-chrome. It goes from gold to pink to green to a little bit of blue this is absolutely gorgeous and i'm sure you guys could see those flips of color 
it's amazing but okay this is a really weird application for um look it's just a tip for uh lip gloss this is pat mcgrath labs this is in bronze astral okay i have a little itty bitty teeny tiny ofra long lasting lip lipstick in pasadena i have a um this is a lip gloss in something that I figured out last night that is too small for me to read. This is a lip gloss by Pat McGrath. I can't read it. It's just too little. Um, this one doesn't have a name, but it is beautiful. And it has one of those snow globe thingies on top with glitter in it. Um, this is orange with gold flecks in it. Like it if I can get it open, um, it is so beautiful, like just the shine on it. This is from Unearthly Cosmetics. I'm in love with their stuff, totally and 100%. Um, this is Diana from Unearthly Cosmetics. This has the same little snow thingy. Let's see no globe and this is like a grayish lipstick which grayish lipstick is actually huge this season and I'm not sure why but I like having one for it this is from glam light this is the rut row lipstick it is a matte um light brown lipstick I haven't used it yet but I'm sure I will before I leave this one is Crushed by Anastasia. This is one of their older um, lip glosses, not lip glosses, liquid lipsticks. So it dries down super heavy, but um, if you use a lip mask or a lip gloss underneath, you're good to go. This is also from Glam Light. Um, this is the Rick um, lip gloss gloss i'm like losing my mind here i'm talking about way too many things way too fast but this is purple with like little blue and gold flecks in it and some pink ones too it's beautiful um let me see i don't have a whole lot left to do but if you look one more there, I don't know if you guys can totally see that. Let me put this back on because I don't want anything slipping out of it. But there, you can see the the beautiful jewel tones in there. This is one of my oldest lipsticks and I honestly need to get rid of it. But it has not failed me. It doesn't smell funny. It doesn't taste funny. It's perfectly fine just like the day I opened it. This is from Too Faced. This is from their... Um, peaches collection um this is called make me blush and i love this lipstick and as long as it stays good i'm just gonna keep using it so this is from the michaela glam light collection this is a really pretty brown um it doesn't have a name i don't know why it was probably on the box and i just didn't save the box because it came from a lip kit this one is one of my two favorite lipsticks out of all of them um of course can i read it hold on one second we're gonna investigate <sighs> let's see this one okay all right i had to put my glasses on because i'm old Okay, these are about gone. This is all that's left of this. This one is in Pool Party. And these are a little old too, but they're not so old. Like, not like the peach thing. And this one's in Interview. This one's pretty much just as gone. Um, I'm going to pan these until they're gone. Okay, I brought three mascaras with me. I brought the uh, Essence Lash Princess Mascara in the volume one. I brought the L'Oreal Voluminous Original in 
does it say the color of the blue? No, it just says blue. And then this one is my Maybelline Last Sensational Sky High Mascara. Um, what else do we got? We got a couple more things and then we're done. Oh, I forgot about these. Okay, we're getting there. I brought my uh, 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. Haven't really been using those since I got a new clear brow gel from Anastasia because that's my favorite thing to use. I have my brow brush and then I also have this little tiny brow. Um, it's Brow Friends Forever. It's just clear brow gel, but it's called BFF. So there's that. And I got my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Powder. And then I have the Wet n Wild little kit with the um, tweezers and the, what else is in here? A little spoolie. Um, brought that just in case somehow that other thing got lost. These two are, this is the only stuff I will use to put lashes on. It's the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. I love this stuff. It's in clear. It is amazing. Seriously, it's all I'll use. Look at this one. I mean, it's been in my makeup bag and used and abused for quite a while. Um, let's go through these real quick. I have my Rare Beauty Foundation in the color 140C. And then I have my Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. I think this is in the old packaging, but it's the same difference. It's 13N Ivory. And then what I've been using the most is my It Cosmetics Pure Skin But Better CC Plus. And this one is in Fair. Okay, and real quick, let's go through these. This is the Rick and Morty um, lip liner that goes with the Rick lip gloss. This is the Chucky, actually, this is the Tiffany lip liner. Um, Be Yourself Real Her. It doesn't really have a name on it. Be Yourself by Real Her. No name, but... This is the color of it. It's like a brownish brick, red, maybe. Um, this is by Jean Bleu, and it is dark brown. This is by Uma, and it's in the color Angelou. Um, this one is NYX. Wade Matte Lip Liner in Orange County. It really is orange. I have that for when I use my orange lip gloss. This one, does it say? It doesn't. And I rubbed the writing off. So this is the color. It's a little bit of a deep purpley red. The next one is by Rasha B Cosmetics. I got this from when I had her subscription box and it is a light purple. I kind of like mixing this with that, um, the Rick, uh, lip liner. And then by Revolution, I have the Ghost in, um, lip liner. This is actually a full-on red lip liner and I like to use this when I use red stuff. One other thing real quick is I brought down the Sephora Moisturizing Cleansing Wipes in Watermelon and it wasn't going to be enough because I was, I was going to be here more days than I had wipes but I do wash my face with it. I just start to take my makeup off with this and get the heavy stuff off. So I had to grab something. So while I was out, I got the Garnier Skin Active Micellular Makeup Removing Towelettes. So that is what is in my makeup bag. All right, I hope I didn't bore you guys for too long and I just hit the camera. So I hope I didn't bore you guys for too long. I hope you enjoyed the video if you were here. 
and I will do a palette video separate because I've already been here for 24 minutes. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you so much and I appreciate each and every one of you, wherever you guys are, whatever time of day it is. I hope you're having a great one and I will talk to you soon. All right. Bye guys.